o'clock set. I'm so glad to be with you tonight here in person and online. And I'm looking forward to this time we have to worship and to pray together. So we long for the presence of God and to encounter Him in this precious time. Later on, we'll be doing some time of intercession and prayer together. And if you have a prayer you want to add in, feel free to come up and sit in this front seat and front chair, front row. And we'll invite you in at various times when the singers are kind of in between things. But we're going to pray and begin to worship the Lord. Lord, we're grateful to be able to come into this place and seek your face. Lord, we were lost and far away from you, and you drew us to yourself. We were your enemies, and we were helpless. We were without hope. You called our names, Lord. You rescued us. You sent your Son to die for us. And he raised from the dead that our sins might be forgiven and we could walk in newness of life. And, and that's shocking that you would do that for one like me, Lord. And then on top of that, God, you open up a door for us like this to be able to come and to meet with you, to encounter you, to worship you. I can't believe you let us do this, God. It's such a privilege but you made a way for us Lord to be able to come and actually meet with you actually encounter you and so we commit this holy moment God into your hands these couple of hours Lord we commit them into your hands that you might steer us and guide us this critical moment in history, God, you've allowed us, you've invited us to a place where we can worship you and pour out our hearts and lift our voices before you. It's amazing, God, that you've invited us here. So lead us tonight. Holy Spirit, we need your leadership. Holy Spirit, we need your guidance if we're going to pray rightly if we're going to understand your heart we need your leadership holy spirit we welcome you here tonight we welcome you to lead us guide us move us as we seek to partner with your heart tonight we commit these couple of hours father into your hands now in jesus name
Oh 
Who can stand in his holy place? Those with clean hands and a pure heart. Who can ascend the hill of the Lord? And who can stand in his holy place? Those with clean hands and a pure heart. Give us clean hands and a pure heart. Holy place, those with clean hands and a pure heart. Who can ascend the hill of the Lord? And who can stand in His holy place? Those with clean hands and pure hearts. Who can ascend the hill of the Lord? And who can stand in His holy place? Those with clean Stand in his holy place, those with clean hands and a pure heart. One more time, who can ascend the hill of the Lord? And who can stand in his holy place, those with clean hands and a pure heart? Oh, who can ascend the hill of the Lord? And who can stand in his holy place, those with Clean hands and a pure heart. Give us clean hands and a pure heart. Give us clean hands and a pure heart. Right here, it's clean hands and a pure heart. Give me clean hands. This is all that I desire, won't you let me love you more? Cause this is all that I require, won't you let me love you more? This is my deepest heart's desire, won't you let me love you more? Still more and more, surrender now. I surrender now, right now, right now. I surrender now, right now, right now. I surrender, I 
Yeah. 
Shake up the ground of all my tradition and break down the walls of all my religion. Your way is better. It's your way is better.
what you have to say. Bring wisdom and revelation. Bring here and now. It's wisdom and revelation. Holy Spirit. In the spirit to call me, she has Shura Baba Sata, Shura Nana Nana, Chiri Nana Nana Sutta, Shira Nana Nana Sutta, Every heart engaged, every heart engaged in this room.
Isaiah 57, verse 14. And it will be said, build up, build up, prepare the way. Remove every obstacle out of the way of my people. For thus says the high and exalted one, who lives forever, whose name is holy. I dwell on a high and holy place, and also with the contrite and the lowly of spirit, in order to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. Lord, I pray tonight that you might capture us with a full view of who you are, of what you're like. It says here, God, that you dwell in a high and a holy place. It says in Revelation chapter 3, Lord, that you are knocking on the doors of our hearts, longing to come into your church, longing to visit your people. High and holy one, we make room for you tonight. God, we invite you, we cry out, God, that we might be numbered amongst those that open wide the door for you to come in. God, come into your church, Lord, I pray here in St. Louis and, and in my own life, God, that we might be some of those that hear your call, that hear your knock, that hear your invitation to open a door that you might dwell with us, that you might dine with us and fellowship with us. Or as it says here in Isaiah 57, God, that you would dwell with us. Oh God, I'm calling out to you tonight for the church in St. Louis and, and for me, myself. God, that we might be numbered amongst those that are humble enough, contrite enough, brokenhearted enough, God, to open the door and allow you in. Humble enough to say, please come in, wreck our religion, wreck our tradition, wreck our own ways, God. I'm crying out to you tonight, God, that we might be fully yielded to you that we might draw near with full hearts and humble hearts and wide open chest cavities, God, that you might come and rule and reign in the midst of your church. Crying out to you tonight, God, high and holy one, high and holy one. You said you would come and dwell with those who have contrite hearts, broken hearts, we lift our voice before you tonight. We say, God, we're hungry for you. We're hungry for more of you. That song we just sang, God, we long to love you more. We long to love you more, God, so we cry out. We cry out, oh God, we want to open that door. Would you come and visit your church? Come and visit us. Come and speak to us. Come and reveal you to us, God. We cry out tonight because, God, we have nothing really to offer to you. We have nothing to give to you, God, but to appeal to you to come, to appeal to you to rule, to appeal to you to reign. Living one, here we are. Here we are, oh God. Come and visit your church in the way that you want to be known, in the way you want to be revealed, in the way you want to be worshipped, in the way you want to be obeyed. God, we cry out to you tonight. We need you. We need your intervention in our lives. We need you to speak, you to direct, you to guide. God, we're tired of American Christianity, and we long for the real thing, God. We long for a relationship with you. We long for intimacy with you. We long for the power of God. We just say, Lord, here we are. Nothing to give, nothing to offer, really, God, but our hearts, but our lives. We just say, here we are. God, come and take over. Oh, God, who dwells in a high and a holy place, would you come and visit us this night?
and all of the things that we put before you, all of the plans, all of our, even my own selfish desires about the way I want something to be or some other thing. God, I pray tonight, God, that we right here in this room, we right here in St. Louis, God, could be numbered amongst those that are humble, contrite of spirit, trembling at the word of God. Lord, you said that's the one that you will look to. That's the one that you will partner with. God, that's the one you want to dwell with. That's the one you want to fellowship with. The one who's humble, contrite of heart, trembling at your word. Lord, not thinking about next thing, at each next new Christian fad or each new Christian uh, uh, controversy or thought or way. God, but the ones that tremble at your word, the ones who are humble, they're contrite of spirit and tremble at your word. I pray tonight, dear one, I pray tonight, dear one, that we might recognize how beautiful, how lofty, how glorious you are. God, that our hearts might turn to that place of humility. Our hearts might turn to that place of contrition. Our hearts might turn to that place of trembling at your word. God, because of your beauty, because of your majesty, because of the awesomeness of who you are, God, we want to be numbered amongst those that tremble at your word. We want to be numbered amongst those, God, that are humble and contrite of heart. Would you reveal you to us in such a way, God, that your church becomes a humble people. We become the people that wait upon the Lord, people that tremble at the word. Cry out to you tonight for a transformation of my own heart, transformation of my own church, the church here in St. Louis, that you could look at us, God, you could behold us, because we're following after your ways. We reach out, we cry out, we long, God, for the visitation of God. And we just say it tonight, reveal you to us in such a way that we might become, like, like you described here in Isaiah 66, humble, contrite in spirit, trembling in your word.
is the Lord's and all it contains, the world and those who dwell in it, for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, tonight we say all of this is yours. All of it belongs to you, God. Every person, every piece of dirt, God, every trickle of water, every animal, God, every part of it, it belongs to you. We're just parts of it. We get to play a part, God. We're so grateful that we get to be in it and a part of it and part with you. The earth is the Lord and all that it contains. We rejoice in that tonight. It says, who may ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to falsehood, has not sworn deceitfully, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Lord, I'm praying tonight for my own soul, for my own, own family, God, for us in this room, us in this city. God, we long for your presence, and you said that if we're going to get there, if we're going to dwell there, if we're going to walk there, God, we need to have clean hands and pure hearts. We cry out to you tonight, God, for clean hands and pure hearts. We sang it earlier. I just bring it right back up again. I say, God, clean hands and a pure heart. In my life, God, and those in this room, and those on the stream, and the church in St. Louis got clean hands and a pure heart. God, there's so much going on. Israel's on fire, controversy in the church, poverty in America, all of those things. We say, God, we need clean hands and a pure heart. Clean hands and a pure heart, God, that we might dwell in your presence and be useful to you in these troubled times hands and a pure heart. God, we long for you. We long for your presence. So we cry out to you tonight, God, for clean hands and a pure heart. Lord. 
clean hands and pure heart to ascend the hill of the Lord. I want clean hands and pure heart to ascend the hill. Father has are mine, therefore I said that he takes of mine and will disclose it to you. Lord, tonight we take comfort in this idea that you, Holy Spirit, are here. You are here to teach us, to train us, to equip us, to glorify the great Son of God in the midst of us. And so, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We're so grateful that you're here tonight. We're so grateful that you're given to each believer to glorify the Son, to guide us into all truth, to steer us to where we're supposed to go. We pray tonight, Holy Spirit, that we might be more and more yielded to your direction, your wisdom, your words, your words, your voice. It says right here in John 16, that you are going to glorify Jesus in us. And so we welcome you here tonight to glorify the great Son of God. Holy Spirit, guide us into all truth. Lead us into the paths of righteousness. Lead us into the ways of the truth, ways of the heart of God, and glorify Jesus in our midst. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We want to walk in the Spirit, live in the Spirit. Submit to the Holy Spirit so we say, come and glorify Jesus in our midst. Guide us in the paths of truth. Guide us in the paths of righteousness. Oh, we yield to you tonight, Holy Spirit. We yield to you. Be our teacher. Be our guide. Be our friend, the one who comes alongside to help. Holy Spirit, we welcome you to guide, to lead, to teach, and to glorify Jesus Christ in our midst. We trust you to do that, dear one. Come and move amongst us, we pray now. In Jesus' name.
one of my hardest steadfast, oh God, I will sing. I will sing praises even with my soul. Lord, tonight we are just so grateful for a chance to praise you from the very depths of our being from the very inner recesses of our hearts, God. We will sing our praises. God, our hearts we choose tonight, steadfast hearts to praise you, to praise you, to sing, God, from the very depths of our soul, from the very depths of our being. God, we want to give our praise, give our thanksgiving, give our worship, Because your loving kindness is great above the heavens. Your truth reaches the skies. Lord, tonight we set our hearts to praise you amongst the people, to praise you amongst the nations. Because your loving kindness, because your mercy, God, extends throughout the universe, reaches to the skies, reaches to the clouds, reaches down into our hearts, God. Because of your mercy, God, we choose it tonight. Because of your abundant mercy, God, we say, we will sing your praises among the people. We will sing your praises in the nations, God. We will awaken the dawn with our praises. We will awaken the dawn with our instruments and with our voices. Because your loving kindness, because your mercy, it's great. It's great above the heavens. It's great above all other things. So God, we say it tonight. We will awaken the dawn. We will awaken 
our instruments. We will awaken the people with praise because your loving kindness endures beyond all things. It arises to the heavens. It reaches down into our souls. Your loving kindness extends into every place. So we will praise your holy name. close to you
times when we encounter you in fresh ways. You're all we want, God. You're all we need. So we finish up our prayer meeting tonight. We're going to, our ministry focus of the week is a group called the Perpetual Prayer Vigil. Their ministry leader is our friend Thelma Bryant, and Perpetual Prayer Vigil is a prayer ministry birth right before the the pandemic to answer the call of God to pray in unity for the body of Christ. They're praying without ceasing. They pray 24 hours a day in homes and in different places around the country. They do, they like phone into each other and so forth. And Thelma lives here in North St. Louis. And they're asking that every hour of their prayer agenda would be covered with multiple people. That perpetual prayer vigil would, uh, their presence on the global platform would be increased. They are literally in all kinds of different cities and nations. And so Lord, we pray for Thelma tonight. We love her. She's such a gift to us here at the Gateway House of Prayer. Such a gift to us in this city. 
such a gift to us personally. God, as they're calling intercessors to night and day prayer, to meeting with you, God, calling out to you, crying out for revival and your purposes taking place across the earth. We pray your blessing upon Thelma and this group as they seek to gather more people into the place of prayer. God, we pray for those prayer warriors, for those intercessors, we pray that they would encounter you, God. They would encounter your presence. They'd be built up, strengthened, envisioned, and rewarded, God, for their place in the secret place. God, you said those ones that call upon you in secret will be rewarded openly. I pray for Thelma and the numbers of people, God, that labor with her, that you would reward them openly, God, with answered prayer. You would reward them openly, God, with the answers to their prayers. Oh, God, we love Thelma. We know we don't love her like you do. God, I know there's, she's got a dear, dear place in your heart. God, that pure-hearted woman, we pray for your abundance of grace to rest upon her tonight. And Father, I pray for all the people that have been here today in this house of prayer, in person, online. Starting way back this morning, Lord, I'm grateful to you for each and every person that's walked in here that's spent five minutes or five hours. They spent three minutes on the web stream or three hours. God, I pray too for them that they, that you would meet them, God, that their hearts would be so filled with the reality of who you are. Moment by moment, God, they would encounter your presence. I pray for them as well, God, that you would answer their prayers, the ones that have been, you know, barked out on a microphone or sat silently in a blue chair or maybe sitting on their couch in their home. Answer their prayers, God. Help your people. Lift them up, God. I pray that many of them would awaken the dawn tomorrow, God, with their praises. We ask your blessing upon them. I pray for those that have ministered on the altar today, God, as they pour out their hearts for you, I pray that you'd fill them right back up. You'd fill them up with the knowledge of your will. You'd fill them up with a spirit of wisdom and of revelation and the knowledge of who you are. I trust you to do that. Father, we pray for your blessing upon this gateway house of prayer. That you would steer the leaders, guide the leaders of this place to know what to do and when to do it how to lead out in prayer, how to add more hours, God, how to increase the, uh, uh, the participation of people, all the different things that they pray about. I pray that you would bless them abundantly tonight. We commit our hearts to you as we leave this place tonight. God, may we keep our eyes riveted, set, focused on you. May we walk with clean hands and a pure heart as we leave this place, I pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Bless you guys for being here tonight, online and here in the room. Appreciate your lives, your hearts. Uh, we start up again at 9 a.m. in the morning and uh, go to 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Bless you.